Okay, so I'm going to do a quick rundown of how the uh, technical rundown of how the head on the Sabre turnstile works. First of all, understand there's a serial number that's installed at the on the front. Um, also, it comes together with the the, the mounting uh, bolts and nuts and a package at the top. Um, you've got the overriding keys which are supplied and the way that it works very simply is that you've got the two solenoids in place that are in the lock position if you unlock it it just basically keeps that one open so that, that that's free flow and that's that direction okay this is so these are the solenoids and like i said it just works like flippers to release the the spindle this unit over here when you tighten the screw up the ball bearing over there pushes against the the plate and the reason for that is to keep it uh, keep these two loose when in the natural position and then this is the limit switch and that basically tells the relays when to when to release um, so that only one person can go through at a time and then this is the controller box the electronics there's two timer controllers over here one for in and one for out at the moment I've got them set for one minute um, basically what it means is that uh, should the uh, uh, should somebody put their finger on a reader and trigger it after a minute it will automatically lock if they don't go through the turnstile but as soon as they go through the turnstile the limit switch will then release it so that it, if it's sooner than that minute it will automatically uh, release the lock so that it's uh, locked after one person the way these things are set just quickly you've got three buttons on the, on the bottom here if you press a button I'm going to do this just to make it easier. So you've got the three buttons. You press the first button. Um, it then flashes which position you want to change. And then you go up and down over here. So if I go to, there it's one minute. If I wanted it to be two minutes, I just push it up. Or I can make it 30 seconds. Okay. So I'm just going to get out of that. That's programmed. It's that simple. Okay. So that's the configuration of the, of the timer. Now, just to give you an example of how this works, if I short out over here the trigger for the turn, so sorry, the information on the side here has a breakdown of what connects where. So it's pretty straightforward. These first two positions here are the are the trigger. So if I short out these two, I'm going to basically operate the trigger, and there the one trigger has happened. I'll short out the second two. So now they're both happening. Now if you look at the timers, you'll see they're busy counting down at different times because I, I was a few seconds out between them. But if I drop the limit switch, you'll see they'll immediately go back to a reset position. So I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, the other thing to note, we put cable tires on, on the older models. You've got the, the cable tire saddles over here. We don't, we don't tie them down so you can add any additional cables into there if you do have extra cables that you want to install. Um, on the newer models we've actually got a, a, a trunking, a steel trunking across the, across the side so that they, these cables don't interfere with the mechanism. Yeah, so just to show you the, 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 the operation one more time, but I'll, I'll turn the spindle this time. So if I do a trigger, okay triggers happen the spindle is free to turn now in that direction so if I turn it okay it's turned now as soon as I touch that uh, limit switch over there it goes into the lock position and there it's back into the lock position obviously it works a lot easier when you've got the spindle because the spindle is your, your your power to turn the the spindle together with the um, with the ball bearing over here and uh, the only suggestion I have as far as grease goes is if you have any grease, put a bit of grease on this ball bearing and then tighten this up. Um, you can see how well it works as you tighten it. Um, it'll hold it in its position. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and have a better understanding of how the mechanism works in the Sabre turnstile.